back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have my first Easter DIY of 2021. If you are familiar with my channel, lately I have been on a sweet decor uh, cake. So basically making decor pieces that look like different types of sweets. I started off in December 2019 with a little fake whipped cream topper. And since then I've been trying different things. Uh, in February I did an ice cream Valentine's Day theme and everything came out so cute. So I wanted to create some Easter DIYs with those type of like realistic dessert looking decor pieces. Along my journey, I keep running into a channel called The Pink Tree and I recommend checking her out. I'll link her down below for you guys. Check her out for just her she shed alone. I thought that she was like inside of a room or something, but then one time she mentioned she's in a shed and it is the cutest little thing. So I recommend checking her down below. She does a bunch of different sweets. She uses different products. They're not necessarily Dollar Tree. I recommend checking her out. Again, I will link her channel down in the description box below. Before we begin this video though, Please let me know if you want to continue seeing this type of sweet decor. I enjoy doing it and though I enjoy it, I still want to make content that you guys want to see and I don't know if this is more of a niche thing or if this is something you guys want to see. So please let me know down in the comments below if you want to continue seeing stuff. I will continue try to, trying to try new sweets with Dollar Tree products or um, trying to make it for you know certain different holidays. So again, just let me know. Give me your feedback down in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you subscribe. I upload lots of Dollar Tree DIYs. With that being said, Let's begin the video. We're going to start off with some lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree. I recommend getting at least four containers of this just to be on the safe side. You also want something to put the spackle inside of and I am going to be changing the color of my spackle to more of a pure white color. I'm using this apple barrel paint in snow white. So I go ahead and I scoop the lightweight spackle inside of the container. If you plan on getting your spackle from a hardware store, just make sure that it's lightweight because if it's too heavy, it really weighs down anything that you make. After I have my spackle inside of the container, I add my white paint and then I just stir it in until I get the color that I like and the consistency that I like. You kind of just want a, at the best way I could describe it is just like a creamy consistency. You don't want it to be too soft or too hard. Next up, I got two packs of the floral foam circle pieces from Dollar Tree. So that's four of them total. And then I'm adding spackle between each layer. So I'm just attaching all four together and using spackle to essentially glue them together. I'm taking the floral foam pieces and putting them on top of a foam plate. I do like to reuse my foam plates instead of just tossing them. So I'm going to be using this for this project. Now I go ahead and I use a spoon to start applying the spackle. The spoon is just a spoon that I got from Dollar Tree they come in a four pack and now I realize it's better to use the back of the spoon to apply the spackle if you have like a icing type of utensil you can use that as well but this is what I have on hand with this particular DIY I applied the spackle going upward and I didn't apply a thin layer you don't want to apply anything thin because the spackle doesn't necessarily adhere to this smooth foam the best until it dries so if you're just putting thin layer you're gonna kind of keep removing it so you got to put a thick layer so that you're not constantly removing the spackle off of the foam once I had the spackle all around the sides of the foam I then applied it to the top of the foam again you want to apply a nice layer of spackle not nothing that's too thin now I'm going to be using these piping bags that I got from Michaels. I used a half off coupon. It cost me about $2.50 and then this icing tip that I got for 99 cents. And what I'm going to do is I am going to pipe some spackle inside of the piping bag and then I'm just going to start using the tip to create just a little design. I'm essentially just squirting out the spackle, not anything too fancy because I really don't bake in real life so it's not like I know what I'm doing. Dollar Tree does carry a piping bag with a few different types of tips that you can use. I just use this stuff so often that it makes more sense for me to go elsewhere. I get more bang for my buck going elsewhere and the plastic tips that come from Dollar Tree you can only use them so much before they fall apart on you. So I like to just get the metal ones for 99 cents elsewhere and I can reuse them over and over again. Next up I got these carrots from Dollar Tree they're covered in twine and I'm going to decorate the top of this with two of those carrots so as you can see I was making some carrot cake it came out 
so cute once your spackle has dried you can always go back with a sand block and sand it down so it's nice and smooth but i'm no i'm not about that life i don't have time to do that okay so i decided to do another carrot cake i essentially did the same thing but this time around i started by applying the icing you know the spackle to the top of what's supposed to be the cake and then i went around the sides this worked out so much better so if you do this start on the top and then move on to the sides and i also applied a very heavy layer of spackle all around the sides because i needed it nice and thick for this carrot cake, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted the sides to kind of look like there was crumbs and also the top of this. So one day last year during fall time, I was trying to see how you make fake candy apples. And I was watching this video by the Southern Girl Can, and I'll link her down below. And to create the nuts, she ended up using K-Cob. So K-Cob is a bird and small animal bedding. I decided to use that as the little crumb so i just went ahead and used my hand to push that inside of the spackle and you're gonna have to push it you're gonna end up with a lot of loose pieces but just keep pushing it in and you'll be able to get a nice layer of that so i put that on the sides and then i put it on the top of my cake i forgot to mention this part i was also making the cakes on top of a foam plate so that i could use that foam plate as the base of what's holding everything together so then I go in with my piping bag and I just, I don't even know what I was doing, just messing around with this. I was using the same tip I used previously. I applied the spackle to the bottom and the top of the cake and then the very center of the cake I add two dollops. If that's, you know, is that what it's called? I think they're called dollops. Anyways, whenever I hear dollop, I think do a dollop of daisy, do a dollop, do, do a dollop. Okay, anyways, and after that I put some carrots on the top of there. All you have to do is then wait for the spackle to dry. Once it is dry, you wanna at least wait 24 hours. You go ahead, take a scissor, and you cut the plate that you put this on, and then you're good to go. You don't necessarily have to use a plate to do this. You can use the foam board from Dollar Tree, but I just find it so much easier to use a plate. How cute did these come out? And they actually look good. I mean, the carrots look fake, obviously, but the rest of it, it actually looks like I could eat this. For our next DIY, I'm going to be using this Crayola Model Magic that I got at Dollar Tree. It is in the color white. And what I'm going to do is I am just going to mold these into the shape of a peep. You know, those marshmallows that for me, sometimes they're good, but rarely. One pack is enough to make one peep. I'm sure you could make two peeps out of one pack, but they would have to be on the smaller side. I also ended up making one of the little ducks that you could make of just molding the clay again and I only used one piece. I made a more oval shape and then I took a little ball, rolled it out, and then I made the head of the little duck. Now I'm going to paint these things. For my pink bunny, I used apple barrel paint in like pink as the base color and then i try to get like the sugar look by stippling a darker pink on top of this but honestly it didn't really work i ended up eventually just kind of painting over that again with the light pink i'm sure there's other things you could use i bet you they carry some type of fake sugar that you could use on this or you probably could use beads I didn't have any of that on hand, so I just painted mine. For the yellow peeps, I did the same thing. I used a lighter yellow and then a darker yellow, but then that didn't even end up showing the darker yellow after I tried to stipple it on. So, yep, it was another one I just gave up and I went solid yellow. At that point, I realized it's better to just paint it a solid color, so I just used light blue paint for the blue one and I didn't use a darker one as well. Then I got some brown paint out and I painted the little faces that go on top of the peeps which are essentially tiny little circles and that was it for the peeps look at this it cost me four dollars to make four of them and they came out so cute my pink one could use a little bit of work it kind of looks a little bit cat like but nonetheless so cool for just a buck and then some paint but most of you guys probably already have paint on hand and you can mix colors to get what you need. For our next DIY, we are gonna be making some ice cream. I've made ice cream previously on this channel. I will link the video down below, but it was a Valentine's Day video. I want to go ahead and change it up a little bit for Easter. So again, I'm using my spackle and then you're gonna to wanna to decide what colors you want the ice cream to be. I want a strawberry color and then a vanilla. So for the strawberry, I'm using apple barrel paint in light pink. I go ahead and mix 
set inside of the spackle till I get a nice color and consistency that I like. I've tried a bunch of different spackles, not just Dollar Tree spackle, but Dollar Tree spackle is actually my favorite spackle to make ice cream. So once I have the strawberry color made, I go ahead and I scoop some pieces out. You just get an ice cream scooper and you want one that has that little thing that slides the ice cream out versus one where you have to use your finger. You want the one that has a little slidey thing. I got mine from Walmart and you just create a bunch of little ice cream scoops. For the vanilla ice cream, I'm using Apple Barrel Paint in Warm Buff. I ended up having to add some white paint as well because that color was just a little bit too dark for me. It looked more like a mocha type of ice cream color so I ended up adding a little bit more white till I got something that looked a little bit more like vanilla. And then I go ahead, use my ice cream scooper to create more ice cream scoops. Next up, I got this Crayola Model Magic from Dollar Tree. It is essentially kind of like an air dry clay. It is in white. They had it in white, black, red, blue, and yellow. Now what I'm doing is I took my piece and I used a rolling pin to roll it out and I'm just going to create ear shapes. So I want it to look like sugar cookies, the sugar cookies you buy in the grocery store that are like so sweet. I don't know if you like those. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. I personally hate those things. What I do is I take my scissor and I cut out the shape of a bunny ear and I do this two times for each ice cream. I made the thickness pretty close to the thickness of those cookies. Not as thick, but pretty close to it. I didn't want to make anything too thin. Reason being is I'm going to be using some Q-tips that I'm going to push inside of each ear so that I can then attach them to my ice cream. Now you want to do this when the ice cream that you made is still slightly wet and not completely dry because if it's completely dry, you won't be able to push the ears through the spackle. You can always glue the ears on if you want to go that route. So I got my Q-tips from Dollar Tree. I take two ears and I kind of push them into each other a little bit. And then I take my Q-tips and I put them through the ear. So I put half of the Q-tip through the ear and then half of it is still out. And with those halves, it's what I use to stick inside of my spackle. I then pipe some spackle on the bunny ears. I use the light pink spackle mix that I made for the strawberry looking ice cream on top of the white bunny ears. And then on top of the pink bunny ears, I used that vanilla type of mixture that I made up. I then take the bunny ears and put it through the ice cream. The clay won't be hardened by the time that you do this. So you just want to lightly hold the clay so that you don't end up messing things around and like just messing up the ears or pushing too much where you make a finger indent. On some of my ice cream scoops, I did a hot fudge look. All you need is some Mod Podge with a glossy finish and then some paint. I'm using Apple Barrel's paint in chocolate bar. I mix the two together inside of a sandwich bag and then I just cut a hole on the sandwich bag and just drizzle that um, hot fudge mix on top of my ice cream. On top of some of the ice cream as well, I decided to do sprinkles. I'm using actual sprinkles. They're rainbow sprinkles that I got from Dollar Tree. Like I said in previous DIYs, if you use real sprinkles, you are going to see bleeding. And what that means is some of the color might end up spreading onto your ice cream. It wasn't too bad for me because all of the sprinkles that I applied only went on top of the hot fudge. So it didn't really bleed too much. I always get tips and suggestions on different things you can use and I get the suggestion of beads a lot and you're going to see me use that eventually but beads just don't look the same as sprinkles. You can also like make your own sprinkles by using polymer clay. It's just very time consuming so lots of times I just go the route of using real sprinkles. They do carry fake sprinkles on Amazon but I feel like they are pricey. You get very little for what you pay and I've bought them before. It's very very little. It's a tiny little bag. Now I wanted to make some ice cream cones for this. So you can buy little fake foods from Dollar Tree in the kids section. And in that fake food, there are two ice cream cones. I decided to paint my ice cream cones because I didn't really like the color of them. I was using an apple barrel paint called khaki. And then I also used one called classic caramel. I know some people say caramel or caramel. Let me know which one you say down in the comments below. Once I had those painted, I could just glue whatever ice cream that I want to to the top of the ice cream cone. There's another way you can make bigger ice cream cones. You can get these little foam pieces from Dollar Tree. They're just kind of, they look like trees, honestly, to me, and cut it in half. 
And then you go ahead and you take the part that tapers at the top and paint it. Now, you can always cut down the bottom a little bit more, shave it down a little bit more to have more of a pointy tip, like an actual ice cream cone. I didn't want to do that because I want mine to be able to stand up. If I would have made the bottom too pointy, it would fall over. So I went ahead and I painted this. And then I took my hot glue gun and I actually used it to create the lines that are inside of an ice cream cone. This is much easier to do when the thing is directly in front of your face because there is a camera blocking me. I can't necessarily see everything so clearly so I'm kind of doing things from far in a funny angle. So you'll have an easier time getting better looking lines than I did because you probably won't be filming yourself doing this. After I have the glue on and it is dried, I went ahead and I painted over the glue. I then glued on my ice cream. I do want to try in the future taking some spackle and putting it where the ice cream and the cone meet to hide the gap there. Maybe I'll do a video for it in the future, but nonetheless, I love the way these came out. They are so adorable. And like I said, you'll have an easier time making these cones because you won't have a camera blocking you while making these. For our next DIY, I am going to be using that Crayola Model Magic Clay again in the white color. I prefer to use white versus the other ones. The other ones, their colors like yellow, red, and blue, they're very, very vibrant. What I do is I take two packs of the clay and I just go ahead and smush them together. Then I take my rolling pin and I roll it out. And I'm going to use this clay as if it was cake fondant. I keep rolling until I get a nice pretty thin layer and I am going to put that on top of one of these floral foam pieces from Dollar Tree. It is a rounded piece of foam and it does taper off on the top. I take my foam, place it down, and then I take the clay and place that over the foam. Then I use my hands to just kind of form the clay around the foam piece so that I get basically like a fondant looking cake like I said. And then I just cut off any excess clay using my scissors. I waited three days for my clay to completely dry and then I painted it. So one of my little cakes that I'm making, I painted with gloss paint from Apple Barrel. I had to mix two colors together to get the color I wanted. So one of them was called pink blush and then one was just white. I mixed them together till I got a pink color that I liked and then I painted the clay. After the paint dries, it's time to decorate. So I put some spackle inside of a bag and then I go ahead and just create uh, different designs on top of my cake. Now the tip that I'm using, it's called a 105 tip and it's from Wilson. And I was like trying to see if there's an actual name for this, but no, it's just a number. And like, if you find from different brand, uh, it's still gonna be like the 105 tip. So I'm sorry, I d there's no exact name for it. It's just a 105 tip. Let's talk about spackle real quick. When you buy it, sometimes it's dry and it's crumbly and it tells you on the back you add water to make it more moist. The paint does that for you. The more paint you add, the more loose your spackle is going to get. And sometimes you might make it a little bit too runny. If that happens, you can harden it by using baking soda. Sometimes that does not work for me and sometimes it does. It's more so dependent on the type of spackle brand that I'm using, whether the baking soda will work for me or not. I decided to create some little leaves. So to do this, I take my spackle and mix in some green paint and then I was going to make some flowers so to do that I just mix that light pink paint you guys see me use like all the time in with some spackle then I put both of those inside of piping bags I first ice on some leaves I use the tip that is called the 150 tip but you know what you guys I don't even know if that's the tip you want to use it's just the one I had on hand to do this that was clean so that's what I used and then I just used that 105 tip to make my little flower I was watching a video on how to make petals with icing and they say you want to use like the 125 tip, the 101 tip, there's different ones, but it just kind of looks like a teardrop to create petals. So if you want to get that, you can go ahead and get that. I just didn't have that on hand. Next up, I used some puff paint from Dollar Tree just to create some designs because I can't get that detailed with the spackle i don't know how I, I don't know how it's done at all so to really just get some details on there look like 
a different type of icing I went ahead and just used some puff paint and it was the white puff paint from Dollar Tree and I was just doing just random designs mainly dots uh, because I didn't know what to do and I still think it came out really dainty and cute I really really love this and I want to make more of them but I want to make like small ones I want to make one that's a little bit bigger it's so cute I wanted to do a mint color cake so I bought the apple barrel paint in white real green and light blue then I mixed those colors together to get a color that I like. It was like a minty teal color, honestly. If you can buy a mint color or teal color that's already glossy, you can go ahead and do that. I couldn't find anything that I liked, so I ended up buying different colors to mix something that I wanted. I used the same icing tips to decorate this cake as well as the same icing colors that light green and that light pink. And then I also used the puff pink to decorate this one. I did do the design a little bit different on this, but I mean, still very similar. These came out adorable, like, oh my gosh, you guys. Doesn't this look so dainty and beautiful? I love the way these came out and they were really inexpensive to make. When I was a kid, I would have loved something like this to play with, oh my gosh. I would have had like tea parties with my dolls with these little things, they are so adorable. Next DIY, we're using spackle again. I honestly think spackle is used to make every single fake dessert ever. It's just so easy to use. So with one of my batches, I am going to mix some light blue paint in with the spackle to create a light blue spackle. I then use some light pink inside of another batch of spackle to create some light pink spackle. Now what I'm going to be doing this time around that's different for my mug topper is I am going to be doing one that is two colors. In my piping bag, I put half of my pink spackle inside of there and then half of the blue spackle and I put them side by side. And then I go ahead and smush that down to the bottom of the piping bag. Whenever you make one of these faux whipped cream toppers, you need something underneath the spackle to hold everything together so the spackle doesn't just collapse on itself. So I'm using these half styrofoam ball pieces that I got at Hobby Lobby. They were originally $4.99, but I used the 40% off coupon. I know that they're getting rid of that coupon soon and that kind of sucks. You can always get one of the bigger styrofoam balls that Dollar Tree carries and cut that in half if you want to, but you get more bang for your buck going somewhere else and just getting the packs of the styrofoam balls already cut in half. And they're bigger than what you're gonna get from Dollar Tree. When you make fake whipped cream, I recommend using a bigger icing tip, not one of the little small ones. The one you get from Dollar Tree works really well it's on the bigger side versus the small little ones that you just saw me using so this is one of those bigger star tip ones I usually have no clue what I'm doing in terms of design when I do anything I just kind of go with it and fix it as I go along this ended up looking like a gender reveal type of fake whipped cream okay to decorate this I'm gonna be using these bunny Dollar Tree erasers I just stick them inside of the spackle you want to do that while it's still wet and not dry I wanted to use just Dollar Tree products to decorate at least one of my fake whipped cream toppers. The next Dollar Tree product that I used were the fake foam carrots. I went ahead and I cut them down and I placed those on the top of the whipped cream. So it's supposed to be kind of like the cherry on top except it's carrots. I ended up doing three of those total and then for the sprinkles, I used the glitter vase fillers. I took the smallest little vase fillers that are in that pack and I used those for the sprinkles. You could use the Dollar Tree sprinkles on this, but for sure you will see the bleeding because the color of the uh, whipped cream is so light. I'm gonna show you guys how I decorated some of my other fake whipped cream toppers for Easter. So this one, I'm just doing pink for the color of my icing. To decorate this, I'm gonna start off by using these little eggs. They are from Hobby Lobby, originally $2.99. I paid $1.50 for them, and I go ahead and just push that inside of my whipped cream. Then I'll be using these little bunnies that I got. They're actually bunny stickers from Hobby Lobby. They were originally $3.99, and I paid around $2.40 for them. They are 40% off right now, but I know real soon it's gonna be 50% off. For this topper, I will be using the string beads that I got from Hobby Lobby, half off. It cost me $3. Now, usually when I put real sprinkles on top of spackle, it'll stick to the spackle. Not all of them, but a good amount of them will stick by just sprinkling right on. The beads wouldn't stick at all, so instead I had to put them all one by one inside of the whipped cream. 
Then I topped it off with one of the little ice creams that I made. I took it and just smushed it down right on the top. I got two more type of ideas for you guys. I wanted to do a really kind of like sweet looking one. So I used my pink spackle to do a pink topper. I then ended up trying to use some beads on this as my um, sprinkles. They would not stick at all and because they were so tiny I was not going to sit there trying to push that inside of the spackle otherwise I would have ended up with a bunch of fingertip imprints inside of it so no I didn't do that. What I did do is I bought some fake strawberries from Hobby Lobby. They cost me $2.50. It came with like I think about 18 and what I did is I just cut two of them down and I pushed that inside of my whipped cream. Then I drizzled some brown paint on top of my whipped cream now i recommend mixing your paint with mod podge the glossy kind because it always keeps that shine to it if you do it that way versus just drizzling the paint on it's gonna dry with more of a matte finish i only did it this way because i didn't have time to mix the paint with the mod podge next up i got these little bunny buttons from joanne fabrics they're originally 3.99 but with a 50 percent off coupon i paid a two bucks for these I just go ahead and push them inside of the spackle and then I ended up adding some of those beads I just showed you guys just putting them in one by one and I really like this one I like the ones that look more like sweet looking with the chocolate and the strawberries so cute final idea that I'll show you guys I just did a regular white topper and this time around to decorate it i am going to be using these little miniature pieces that i got from amazon i'll try to remember to link it down below for you guys it came with a 35 pack of little miniatures there's bunnies little duckies chickens two little like birds nest um and then little eggs i just decorated it with the duckies one of the nest and um the bunnies and then i ended up eventually gluing in the eggs into the nest Sorry the lighting is a little bit darker right here, it's just, it just depends on when I have time to film. So if I have time to film during whenever there's sun out, I'll use it even if it is a little bit darker because the sun is setting. Some of the fake whipped cream I made on top of plates and some I made on parchment paper. Depending how you make it, if you make it on the paper plate, a foam plate, a foam board, you go ahead and you cut off the excess uh, material after the spackle has dried. That's it for these fake whipped cream toppers. I've made them before in the past, but I wanted to adapt them for Easter time and give you some Dollar Tree options and some other options and just ideas on how you can decorate it. It's so cute and one of my favorite things to make. That's it for these adorable Easter DIYs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up like I said. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.